Hi guys, it's Dee and welcome to Dee's Yarn. I garden East Tennessee, Zone 7A, and this is the May 2023 garden tour. I cannot believe it's already the end of May and June is just around the corner. This area is my water garden area, also known as my koi pond, and surrounding the outside are winter gem boxwoods, and I actually propagated them myself a few years ago. Last spring, I focused hard on planting up this koi pond area, and I really love the way it turned out. In the pond are some water lilies, a Japanese maple, and just starting to come into bloom are pickerel weed, and these are awesome pollinator plants. Bees, hummingbirds, dragonflies, you name it, they love it. Right next to the koi pond is my woodland garden area. And you guys, I really love the way that this garden is turning out. For a pop of color, you'll see I have a Japanese forest grass. Just recently planted it, so it's still pretty small. Right next to it is Itea, also known as a sweet spire, Setlandia. And it's such a pretty smell. You guys, I'm so excited about this hardy Zone 7 begonia called Sterling Moon so pretty and hopefully it comes back for me every year. I added a hookah up front called Toffee Tart and then I have a pop of color right there in the middle, a bleeding heart called Gold Heart. Behind it is a hosta called Guacamole and you guys I lost my other Mahonia during the Arctic blast so I had to add this soft pressed Mahonia because I absolutely love them and I found this variegated cast iron plant. Super excited about adding this to the garden. In the middle there, you'll see this big pop of color. That's a Florida Sunshine Elysium. And I love how it pairs with a hosta up front called Empress Wu. I have some more hookra, and then I have a brilliant autumn fern. Some more hostas and hookra. And up front, I have two Brunera or Brunera called Queen of Hearts. I love that silver color. In the back, I have a rhododendron that is not in bloom, but it was just a bloom a week or two ago called Nova Zembla. Then up front for a pop of color is an Everill Carex. Next to it is a lungwort called Spot On. Then I have this really fun hostel called We. Love the variegation. And right behind it is a variegated Solomon Seal. And behind that is an Aphrodite sweet shrub or calicanthus, and the smell is so nice. Another hosta in a container called Diamond Lake. Love that blue color. To provide another chartreuse color, I have a Brigadoon St. John's Wort. The color is not showing up well on the camera, but is very pretty, called Visions of Stilby. And you'll see bordering the woodland garden are some pink impatience. In the back is an oak leaf hydrangea in full bloom called Gatsby Pink, at least I think it is. We shall see if the blooms turn a pink color. You might see that brown plant, that's one of my camellias that I lost during the Arctic blast. I just haven't had a chance to remove it yet. The next pop of color is a Sun King Golden Japanese Spike Nard. Behind that in the container is a Seducer Hosta. Love that Hosta. And then I have another oak leaf hydrangea called Gatsby Gale. Moving on from the Woodland Garden, we are now going into more sun in what I like to call the Shed Garden. Vining up the shed is a clematis called Dr. Rupal, absolutely gorgeous. In front of the clematis, I just have some coleus planted. And you may see all that grassy texture. That is for my daffodils. I'm just waiting for the foliage to die back before I cut it to the ground. I also have a arborescence hydrangea called Seaside Serenade Bar Harbor. The Annabelle hydrangea. On the other side of the shed are three double play doozy spirea and this is actually their second bloom already. Love them. 
And a lot of these plants around the shed as well as in my yard are actually clearance plants. Right next to the spirea is a nine bark called summer wine. Love that color against the shed. Moving on, now we're getting into the area I like to call the perennial border and it borders the fence in my backyard. I actually propagated this Annabelle hydrangea and it's just getting ready to bloom. In bloom right now, they're not getting enough sun though, are these Peak Potion Veronica. You can see they're reaching for the sun, but they're still really pretty. Just finishing blooming are these Boom Chocolata Hardy Geranium. I love that really soft purple color. Recently, I just planted this Fire Glow Japanese Maple. I'm very excited to have this color in the garden. I absolutely love the color of this Anthony Water Aspirea, and I think it pairs perfectly with the opening act blush box just next to it. And hardy in my zone, zone seven, the meteor shower verbena came back for me and I'm very excited about it. You guys, I'm really loving how this garden area is turning out and I cannot believe I started it only a few years ago. One of the bee's absolute favorites are these Cat's Meow Cat Mint. And another favorite just behind that is the Midnight Masquerade Penstemon. These other flocks are just getting ready to bloom. I'm very excited about that. And just early this week, I planted this purple salvia gregii, and the bees have been all over it. I also have a cone flower called Yellow My Darling. And I also have these evergreen Stella daylilies that pair perfectly with this perennial salvia called Violet Perfusion. And the bees are super busy this morning. On the other side of the fence, I have a perennial salvia called Violet Riot and it needs to be cut back. My wine and roses with Julia are just now finishing blooming. They've been in full bloom for about two months straight. On the other side of the tree are my absolute favorite flocks and they are called Opening Act Romance. Love these flocks. Behind them I have some more tall verbena. In bloom right now are Purple Illusion Veronica. These next perennial salvia need to be cut back. They're just finishing up blooming called Back to the Fuchsia. Behind them is another tall flocks and these are called Cloudburst. And I think they look beautiful with the Tuscan Gold Fall Sunflower that is about to be in full bloom. In the front, I have White Wands Veronica, next to a smoke bush called Winecraft Black. This Agastache is called Royal Raspberry. I recently planted these three Fire Witch Dianthus, and I like the way they look with the Homestead Purple Verbena next to it. 
About two weeks ago, this plant was in its full glory. This is called Pink Lemonade Baptisia. And behind it is my absolute favorite penstemon. This is called Onyx and Pearls, and I absolutely love it. In the front is a little grape butterfly bush. Over here I have some blueberries, strawberries, and thyme, and I'm realizing that my camera is about to die. And in my elevated raised garden bed, I have some peppers, beans, and cucumbers. But thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye guys.